Request log, just sad. We'll have to wait a couple of days. Yeah, quest is gone. Don't trust him. Just talk to him again, you mean? Or go to the other family. Alrighty, I hope you're not leading me into death here. I am gonna trust you on this. I've definitely never done this a peaceful way before, so I'm relying on you. Speak to the first one, first one. Okay. Raddy's gonna get us killed, boys. Nah. Raddy is always right. Raddy knows everything. He's the opposite of Jon Snow. So I guess we talk to the person we stole the helmet from. I guess we ask about peace. Is this the right person to talk to? Perhaps word has spread fast about the little spectacle at the docks. You've certainly caught everyone. <laughs> Not too. Yeah, that was kind of obvious. strums a loot by the watchtowers. A meek-tempered boy, fonder of song and drink than the family business. He might spill something of his family's. Any place. of these matter? I usually get them to talk to Gaza and just let it go into a mess, get loots from everyone. But are you getting into the fight as well when you do that? Because we have to watch over this little girl here and. In these super close spaces, it's not extremely easy to do that. And we can't read out. Just do the task, okay. I'll have it. Does this matter at all? Are you still with me? I'd venture that you're working too hard. I guess that doesn't really matter. Alright. So, I remember having to hunt down this person in my very first playthrough. And this is why I actually never completed this quest until super recently because. I didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. Where's the watchtowers? Where's Zilli Valera? But that was my first playthrough, so I didn't want to look up any guides. It's close to the two imps, really. I was quite certain that was the first place I looked, and I just couldn't find the person there. That was the first place I thought about when I heard Watchtowers. I just couldn't find her. Yeah, peace between families is definitely what we want to do here, Virgilius, but I've just never done it before. Oh, it's near the merchant, okay. I might have actually missed this merchant in my first playthrough. It is easy, okay. Yeah, the sailors are gone.
Oh, see? Yeah. That's why I never found this person. Very well hidden away. But Julius knows he will tell you. Awesome. If you are after some scenery, I suggest the far... I'm hardly one to judge, but... Uh, I'm not sure you're getting the spy part. Does any of this matter? You a distant Bardato cousin or something? I, I don't know how I'd Sally think I can help, but... I go to the Golad. Don't do this class. You don't want to side with one and can't make peace. So just go back and talk to Izali or whatever she's called. The old lady with the helmet. And what is it you I may not approve of my family's methods. But I am not about to sabotage them. Of course, I bet. But before you go, Etzali can't hear about this. I told Persa and all the rest of them not to make trouble. Atello still runs the family. Okay. We're going back to the house first. I'm a little confused right now. Wait, we go back to Valera or Badato? Valera, okay. Also, the entire game we were playing on normal speed. I'm sorry, guys. I'm the worst. Oh, also, for some reason, fast mode in combat was turned on. Yeah, I have no idea why I didn't turn it on ever. I think I turned it off for sneaking and for like looting or whatever, and then I forgot to turn it on ever. Talk to the guy on the left. Oops. Oops. Ran the wrong way. I also have to end pretty soon. Do what brings you to the whole of the Valeris? So now we do the fair warning or option four. Option four, four. Okay, if we must, what is shoddery? This is not your feud. So now I guess we show him the report. interest. Thief. Our financial difficulties are no one's concern but ours. You want to help? Convince Azali to negotiate. She ignores my invitations. Until then. Alright, so now we go to Azali, I guess. Looks like we're not going to die spectacularly after all. Should have gone with option 2, really. Just because he got angry at me, or... Did this mess up something else? Oh, okay, fine. I don't think that mattered too much. Yeah, I didn't go to the Golad because Virgilius said not to. And you told me to trust Virgilius, Raddy. It's your fault, Kappa. Nah. I'm pretty sure Virgilius has done this before. 
He's doing the ultimate as well, after all. Alright, so we have the peace offering now, right? My intelligence speaks of agitated with have on then. And don't leave Wait. me in suspense. The next time you I didn't have anything. My intelligence speaks of then ask. But do not waste my day with trivialities. Betello doesn't make my affairs any e his brew delusion. Go on then. Let him know. Oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry, I was a little fast there. <laughs> Or a little slow, whichever way you take it. Looking good. So now I'm really curious how much of a ship we're gonna be able to afford. Never understood why this game needs to load so much, yeah. I mean it's a lot better than PoE1, at least the loading screens are short. In PoE1 it loads as often, but every loading screen takes 10 hours. Oh, and Kingmaker. I mean Kingmaker doesn't load as often though. So. But yeah, the loading screens are something else. You possibly lost some XP. Yeah, but I think the Golet Crest is dangerous, Raddy. I'm pretty sure I fought there with my monk. Uh, I have... 11 Diplomacy. Do I have the ring on? Yeah, I do. Is it enough? I do. What brings you to the you I I will Okay, I have to gonna walk me through this. I'm currently playing Kingmaker, the load times are about half as long as that fire. Are you an early game day Daytan? Because in Kingmaker the further you go into the acts, like it's especially bad act five and onwards. Your save game gets bloated, and eventually the loading t loading screens take forever. It's very very act dependent. Act one and two are fine. Act three and four are mostly fine. Half as long as that fire in Kingmaker. Yeah, maybe at the start. About 60 hours, and yeah, you're probably not even close to Act 5 then, Satan. Like, get to Act 5, and you will know what I'm talking about. Option 2, okay. You run your. I, I would not willingly welcome a Bardato beneath my roof for the sake of a jest. I mean, it's still an amazing game. I love Kingmaker. It's just such a shame that. The safe, the way safe files work in that game are really, really weird. Three. Mother, please. Be quiet, Martino. Watch her. Now would be the time to lay out your reasoning. I probably should listen to this because I've never heard this before. I'm so tryharding right now that I'm not even listening to dialogues I haven't heard before. Okay, what option do we go now? Yeah, I'm actually the same. I like King Moika more. It's definitely my favorite game came out this year, or last year whenever it came out. Uh, 
uh, go as one. The state of the house is beginning to make sense to me. Do not think yourself higher than me because my house has seen better days. Don't mistake your ignorance for nobility. The republics need profit, not delusion. Yeah, Act 3 is my favorite act in Kingmaker. The whole Cyclops thing. Yeah, Consort, I died yesterday, but not today. But we have only done boring and safe stuff so far. I haven't actually played Planescape Torment, the original one. I only played the Tides of Numenara thing, but I really have to play it at some point. It's one again. Did I read that right? Is it one again? Sorry, can you repeat that, Vajayas? Heino! Moin! Bitte nicht! Keine Bits! The brother Heino here. My actual brother, real life. Um. Hey, Sharp, what's up? Haven't seen you in a while. What are you doing? Consort is here, time to die. Yeah. One again, okay, cool. One Sorry. Does not arm the competition. Besides, lesser people that make more of themselves without the aid of banks. No, Bloom is not Act 3, you. Your Bloom is part of Act 2, actually. Two. I'm amazed you can say this with a straight face, Zali. Yeah, it would be really boring if I had to do everything again. I'd really be happy if I don't die. Got burnt out on my old Madran and I'm slaying some dragon stock. Yeah, it is really burning out. But at the moment I'm still fine. I always have the problem if I die really late into the run. It's two again, but don't trust Raddy. Don't say that Raddy, I'll never trust you again. It's two, okay. Once you own the castle, things change. I guess it's two again. Yeah, sorry, I didn't read too much right now. I'm actually reading it. Let's see. Yes. Yes, I do. My favorite chapter in Kingmaker is the last one after the house. Oh, I remember. You're the only person on the planet who likes Act 6, Sharp. Yeah, Act 7, I mean. I remember that. We had a pretty interesting discussion about it. <laughs> Two again. And if there's a pain, I'd rather do the ultimate. Just play something cheesy like a Canada assist, and you'll never want to play the ultimate. They are possible sailors. Yeah, Shad is really busy today. We had over 50 viewers earlier. A pretty good day. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for King Week. I just bought it. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, I keep doing this. I'm really bad. Of course, but. With spoilers. What happened? Escort quests, yeah, escort quests are annoying. 
I always hate ask a quest. We did it! God, boys, we gained question mark experience. Yay! That was actually quite a lot. We were like here somewhere. Now we're here. Easy. Talk to Bose again, really. I'm so scared. I don't want to ever talk to anyone again. Okay, let's do it. In your capital, here you may just fall as one of the family that grants you the better that the Valeras run our fleet against the rocks than suffer peace with our enemies. Okay, if the bad that's some meager consolation there, yeah, okay, he doesn't give us anything. Let's talk to the other person. Yo, oh, Paladin is really fun in Kingmaker. One of my first characters was Paladin, but I didn't actually finish the unfair solo with it because it wasn't really that good for unfair solo. But it's a really fun class in that game. Question mark is only that matters. It is Archmage. Because there's nothing else but question marks anyway. I have no friends. Ah, come on, Archmage. You have asked. Yeah, the parlor didn't do damage. I know, Archmage. Just, just kidding. Druid is not that good in Act 7, though. I remember Kaiser actually played his whole playthrough for the first time ever when he tried Unfair. Like, he never played Unfair when he was playing all the OP mage shit, wizard and whatnot. But when he was trying Unfair, he played Druid for the whole playthrough. And then in Act 6, he just went crazy. And Act 7, he actually reset the difficulty lower because he couldn't do it with a Druid. <laughs> I have not forgotten Earth. It is said that no Oh, she doesn't give us anything, I guess. Or is it someone else we talked to here? Laro has too much Bardato blood has been speared. Oh, did she just give us something? But that does look luxury. Oh, a mace, okay. I'm learning a lot. Shut up, girl. Yeah, I don't know. I've never played Chop. Uh, I've never, I've never played Chop. I've never played a Druid Chop, so I don't know how the correct way to do it is. He was trying to do it with a pet, and the pet just got wrecked. Oh, you did not have an animal companion. Okay. Fire domain and had Sirocco. Yeah, Sirocco is helpful. How did you kill the big fireball, though? I guess he still gets CC'd by the Sirocco? You talked to Maza, yeah, I tried. I didn't... I think I didn't get anything. I got something from the little girl, but nothing from the Maza. Oh, because Fiery Body heals you, I guess. Speak up. Uh, it is said that. Yeah, she doesn't have anything. Polymorph still work on the big fireball. I don't know if it actually did work on the big fireball. Like it works on the previous stages. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, we got a pad too. 
max HP. So we got Dust Fall, a ring, the maze. Oh, this too. I guess. Oh no, this is from Akamia, I think. Yeah, I think we're done with the quest. So we could go to Hazongo. Equip the visage, you mean this one? I don't want to waste it on something that I don't want to use it on, I guess, because it triggers when you get bloodied. You can't really control it. It kills the fiery bell with a cold spell that reduces stats. Oh, okay. Is that the AoE thing that keeps ticking? That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I did the same shop with killing all the monsters at the tree. Hi, no, stop it with the bits, please. Well, thank you, but please stop it. <laughs> yeah, the big AoE. I've definitely seen that before, and it seems like the best way to deal with him. Not just for Druid, but in general. I'm not sure if Kaiser used it or not. Maybe he didn't have it or something. Okay, Vijay, thanks for the help. I'm gonna end in a second as well. Just gonna see what I can buy for my ship. And I think we're going to Azongo tomorrow. Um, yeah, let's just check. Hey, Envy, what's up? I'm doing fine. Thanks. How are you? I could do wolves with an alchemist, not so though. You should try VV sectionist, yo yo. It's super OP and it's an alchemist. Like my first character I actually beat the game on unfair solo was VV sectionist. So we're not going to be able to afford all of this, but I just want to put it into the stash real quick to see what we can afford. Because I can't tell how much money I have, obviously. Oh, the vivisectionist, sorry. It's like an alchemist subclass, but it's OP, <laughs> basically. Wait, what are these sales? I just got them from the quest. I have to look these up. I don't know what these are. Bombs for touch AC are great, but they run out on unfair if you play solo. Um, Valera sales. Um, let's see. But yeah, I've never seen those before because I guess I've never done the quest from the peaceful solution. Or maybe I just didn't pay attention to whatever the sales are. I don't know. Oh, these only have five meter speed. Okay. So I um, don't think I'm going to use Dusk for... Let's see. Encounter, oh really? But well, it's just for one attack. Yeah. Sell that. Nineteen sorcerer, one monk, yeah. I mean not necessarily the easiest class. I guess it depends. 
you're saying for a new player, so I guess, yeah. But the easiest task overall is definitely the kineticist. It can just be tricky knowing all the feats and stuff you have to take. But kineticist is so OP, it's in a class of its own. Like nothing compares to kineticist and Kingmaker. I mean, as I said, I've never played Druid, but I'm pretty sure Druid can't even compare to it. I mean, yes, never done peaceful sounds mean, Archmage, I understand, but I've only done the quest once, so... That's why I've never done peaceful, because at one time, I haven't done peaceful. But yeah, Divinity is also a great game. Kinetis is boo, yeah. Kinetis is, is almost so OP it's boring. You can kill both families for loot and don't lose any rap. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I don't care about rap anyway. Do it doesn't have very good damage late game, it feels so good early. Yeah, I totally agree. Hope to fix some of the items abilities not working. Oh yeah, it's always a big thing in Kingmaker. Box upon box. I could actually keep this. This is another lash that you can stack. And you can extend this with um Salvation of time. Oh wait, no, this is a different item. Never mind. Do I keep the shield for some early fights? Maybe. I'm definitely gonna keep this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it. But I am gonna keep it for now. I might just end up selling these if I can actually afford all of this. Or if I'm close to affording it or whatever. But right now I'm going to try and keep them. But yeah, I might have to sell a little bit more stuff. I mean, I don't think I can afford all of this anyway, it's like 70k. No, Kinetisys does not have less burst than a mage, you, you, you. It has infinite burst. It just kills everything immediately. Kineticist is a pay to win class, totally agree. Yeah, you need the ship stuff, Baldur's Gate, because travel speed is a big thing. Because you have to see, you have to look at it that way, the total time you have to do all the DLCs and kill all the mega bosses is like 80 days. And you waste so much time traveling around with the ship. It's insane. I mean, if you have a perfect route, maybe you can get away without it. But at the moment, I'm still working on a perfect route. Yeah, sorry, my English isn't the best. Yo, yo. I am German. But yeah, the main thing about Kineticist is that you like have to know what elements to pick and whatnot. When I played it for the first time, I was actually doing the DLC for Kingmaker. And I picked half of the stuff wrong. But then I got interested in the class because of the DLC. So, ich spreche Deutsch ein bisschen. Ein bisschen is good.
Yeah, the melee classes are bad. I mean, Vivisectionist is fine, but it's not awesome, you know? It's fine. <clears throat> um, so these are all 10%. So I think this is a little bit less. I think this is 5%. So this is the most expendable one, I think. I actually double check. So the sales are 20%. So the sales are a must. Um, the whole. The whole is 5%. So the whole is the most expendable one. These should be 10%. Let me double check again. Um, scroll, 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 scroll. Helm. 5 meters. Oh, these are 5%. Oh, okay. The arcane lanterns are 10% though. So these are... Was that the anchor? Oh no, it was a hole. I didn't even... A helm. I didn't even pick one yet. So those are also 5%. The others are all the same. Can I see the prices? Yeah, so... These are 8k gold, so these are pretty cheap. Um, the sales are 8.5, so those are super cheap for having the biggest big upgrade of it all. The hull is 25k, which is really expensive. The ship is 18k, and it's 10%. So the ship is right now the most expendable thing. Wow, we do not have a lot of gold, though, boys. I did not expect that. Hmm. So what happens? I sell this and this. Still not enough. Hmm. This is unexpected. I expected to have a lot more. I mean, I didn't steal enough. If I'm perfectly honest with you, because that's a crash at the start of the game, and then I kind of didn't do slate of hand a lot, except for like these items. So I guess I'm missing a lot of stuff. Okay, let's see. So we can afford two of these items. Uh, what's cheaper, the lantern or the anchor? The lantern is 8k and the anchor is 18k. Really? So the anchor is actually the problem. What can I afford now? Um, what else was cheap? The helm was 14k. Which technically isn't cheap, but it's cheap pair. Oh yeah, look at this. So that is only five meter speed though. What else was 10 meters? The ship would have been 10 meters, but the ship is 18K, isn't it? Let's double check. Oh, it doesn't show the price here. I guess trial and error. Wait, where is it? It went down. Yeah, the ship, we can't afford that. The hold is only 5 meters as well, but it's both combat. Yeah, we can't afford that anyway. So yeah, let's go with the helm, I guess. So yeah, we're still missing a lot of stuff. But... I didn't sell anything that I need. Oh wait, I still have this in inventory though. It's not gonna be enough for anything though. Yeah, I'm fine with this. We didn't sacrifice anything that we really wanted. That's the main thing.
<laughs> German to death. Sorry for being a little bit distracted. Moin, Ed. Wie geht's? Oh, you're French. So, here's the thing. I learned French in school, but it's too hard for me to actually understand it and talk French. So, there you go. I actually have French relatives. I can't understand a word if they're speaking French. Yeah, it doesn't go against AC, the deadly ass. It doesn't go against saving throws, it doesn't go against AC. It just auto hits. And it's a giant AoE, and you get it at level 13 if you're skilling your class right. But that's the thing about Kineticist, you have to exactly know how to build it. Imagine if I speak 24-7 Russian. Yeah, I don't understand Russian at all. I know some words from my mom because she learned Russian in school. But I don't understand it. I can't follow it. I can't talk it. <laughs> Wo ich von dem Ultimate Mode gehört hätte, musste ich gleich an dich, dich denken, ob du es probierst. Ja, ich wollte kein Deadfire mehr spielen. Und Ultimate hat mich nach Deadfire gebracht. Alright, boys. We're gonna stop here for today. We're gonna go to Hazongo tomorrow. And it's gonna be interesting. We're definitely gonna get level 13 of Hazongo. It's gonna be interesting if we can get to level 16 by being a pacifist. I kind of doubt it a little bit, but we're gonna go to Crookspur. We're gonna try our best. To be a good little pacifist until level 16 and then we're gonna murder everything because we're gonna have salvation of time thanks for letting me tackle but yeah kineticist is insane it's just something you have to behold but if you actually play it it gets boring really quickly Every fight is the same, because there's the uh, deadly earth, stuff dies. If you get unlucky and something doesn't get one shot, you have a free quicken if you're high level enough. So you just cast twice in a round, you do a little bit less damage with that one. But usually you two shot anything. Also where is... I just realized that I might have wanted to respec for the deck of many things. But I think for now it's better not to respec because we we're gonna need our bluff and we're gonna need our stealth. So yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be Hazongo, Crookspur. Oh no, we have some Russian in chat as well. <laughs> International chat. Alright, guys. Have a good one. Oh, let me actually see. Oh, change ship? No, I actually didn't. I didn't get to afford the ship. But it's a good idea to actually do this before I end the stream. You're totally right, because otherwise I'll forget about it and travel around like a not very smart person. Let me actually see if I can find someone to raid, because I'm really bad at raiding, I always forget about it. Good night, Ed. Sorry, this is so cold spa. Oh yeah, Bee House is streaming again. Let's just raid Bee House again. Oops, my caps is on. Alright guys, have a good one. Ja, ich bin morgen wieder da, glaube ich. Was für ein Tag ist morgen? Mittwoch. Äh, Donnerstag, ja. Bye bye.